Matt here with Mr. Energy. Today we're going to be measuring our welded steel handrail. Right here I am figuring out where the posts are going and also the angle at which the handrail will sit using a speed square We're at 20 degrees, so by laying that steel across the steps, I can figure out how far past each step. We're going six inches on this particular handrail, which made the rail six foot 11. Now we're adding an inch and a half post on each side which adds three inches total, making it seven foot two inches. That's how long we're gonna cut the cap rail. Now, figuring out the angle, we've got 20 degrees off the post, which is 90 degrees, and we are going to subtract that for the inside corner which was 70 and on the bottom here we're actually opening it up so plus 20 degrees which makes it 110 now my miter saw only goes up to 45 degrees so what we're going to do is to get 70 degrees we're going to do two cuts at 35 degrees so 35 plus 35 would be 70 this is the outside angle that's 70 degrees the inside is 110. Here's the other angle. We've got 55 and 55, which I didn't cut because it's difficult without the miter saw. But you can see 55 degrees. If we were to miter cut that, which is also off of the slope of the rail, it is 20 degrees. So this might sound complicated, but I'm going to simplify everything. We're not going to miter cut it. We're just simply going to cut 20 and 20 degrees on each end because one simple fact, the cap rail will hide everything. So we don't need to get fancy with two miter cuts that come together perfectly. If we were not doing the cap rail, then we would probably need to do a nice miter cut. Another part of the plan is the actual height of the post. So like we talked about before, we are six inches off of the step with each end of the rail. On the top side, we are two inches from the bottom and on the bottom end we are ten and a half inches so the difference between ten and a half and two would be eight and a half inches we want our rail to be 36 inches high so we're going to add eight and a half inches to the bottom post so the top post being 36 36 plus eight and a half would be 44 and a half inches on the bottom post. Here's our plan with all the measurements and angles. And I also like to create a little cut list for all the parts with the angles, the rails, and then the post, 20 degrees on the top, 90 degree square cut on the bottom. Thanks for watching, keep working hard, be creative, and always do your best. We'll see you on the next video.